Hi, I'm Rachel with Raza, and today I'm going to show you how to connect an Alexa skill that you already have up and running to a Raza assistant that you're running, uh, serving on some public facing URL. Uh, so you can see I've already built my Alexa skill. Uh, and the only thing I need to add is an endpoint. I want an HTTPS endpoint. Uh, and this will allow me to use um, whatever URL I'm using to serve my uh, assistant. Right now, there, there aren't any, so let's create one. Uh, I'm gonna use a service called ngrok to uh, create a public facing URL for a process that I'm just running locally. Uh, so let's start by running a Raza server locally. But once we've uh, run our server using the command Raza run, um, we can see that it is on localhost port zero, sorry, 5005, that's the port. Uh, so now all we need to do is uh, create a um, ngrok tunnel that has a public URL pointing at that port. Uh, because I'm on Windows, I need to launch ngrok by uh, using the executable. If you are on Mac or Linux and you have it installed, you just need to do ngrok. Uh, and then the rest of the command is the same. So HTTP. And then the number of the port where my skill is currently running, which is 5005. 5005. Boom. Uh, so we now have a public facing URL. If you want to uh, learn more about what's going on, you can check out the, um, what do they call it, web interface, which will be linked right here. Uh, and then this URL is going to be unique to your particular session. Uh, and what we need to do is take this URL and then get the specific endpoint where we are serving our Alexa connector that we talked about in the first video. So we can double check that this is working by following the link. Yeah, yeah, I do want to open it. Uh, and you can see we do have a Rosla server running. Um, we get a little message, hello from Rosla 1.7.0, which mm, I need to update. Uh, and then from here, we need to, we want to know about all of the webhooks. And the specific webhook that we are looking at is uh, this Alexa assistant uh, webhook that is the class method name of this Alexa connector that again, we talked about previously. There we go. Uh, and if we look at just the, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, just the slash endpoint, we should see that everything is working good. Excellent. So we see status okay. Uh, and then we have the uh, sort of the business end, which is the same thing, but with webhook on the end. Uh, and this is where we are prepared to receive the uh, requests from Alexa, deal with them, pass them on to our Raza server, get the information back, pass the information back to Alexa. Um, this doesn't have a get method though. So if I just go to there, uh, I'm gonna get, oops, I'm gonna get nothing. Um, you can see uh, method git not allowed for URL webhooks Alexa assistant webhook. That's fine. We are going to uh, post things there via our Alexa assistant. So I'm going to take this URL uh, and paste it in my uh, enter URL area here in HTTPS. Uh, and I accidentally took the HTTP and not HTTPS. So I need to make sure that it is HTTPS. Uh, and then the certificate is uh, the subdomain has uh, has a certificate. Uh, and then save endpoints. If you do not save the endpoints, it will not work. Ask me how I know. Uh, and now we can actually test our skill right in the uh, uh, Alexa console by going to test. So the first time you go to test, it will be off and you need to turn it on by going to development. There we go. Um, and I'm actually going to text it, use test it using text input here because I'm using my mic to record. Um, so I need to launch my skill using my invocation name, which I, which I can check by going to build and then invocation. My invocation name is text mood bot. So that's what the user needs to say to start my skill. So uh, start text mood bot. Uh, and we get the response back. I'll zoom in a little bit. Hello, welcome to the Raza Powered Alexa skill. You can start by saying hi. Hi, all right, I can do that. Uh, hey, how are you? Uh, and I'm gonna pretend that I'm super sad. Super sad, little crying emoji. 
Uh, here's a fun fact to cheer you up. Sea otters hold hands while they're floating on the water sleeping so they don't drift away from each other. Oh, that's cute. Thanks. That's how you connect your uh, Alexa skill that you have built to your uh, Alexa connector in your Raza uh, assistant that you have running at some URL. Again, you wouldn't use want to use NGROC for something you were actually putting into production. So that concludes this three-part series. I hope you found it helpful, uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing everything you build. If you need any other help, please feel free to check out the Raza forums. We try to stay on top of questions, um, and I will see you there. Bye.